organizations love to centralize power. Bosses at the top of the pyramid spend much of their days trying to decide on all important and unimportant matters. Mainly so they can try and hold on to a false sense of control. Employees on the front lines are burdened by this every single day. They feel the frustration of not being able to make their own decisions, of having everything they do constantly verified, checked, approved and signed off. Until all joy, sense of ownership and responsibility have evaporated. Well, it's time to give those on the front lines the power they deserve. Pioneering organizations managed to find powerful ways to distribute decision-making. One of them is the advice process. And this is how it works. Step one, you see an issue or opportunity and create an initiative for it. You can choose to pick up this initiative yourself or hand it over to someone else. Step two, you gather all the input you need and create a proposal for a decision. Step three, you present your proposal to people who will be affected by your decision and people with expertise on the subject matter. You ask for their advice so you'll be able to make a well-informed decision. And lastly, step four, take the advice into account and make a decision. It's up to you to take the advice on board or ignore it. You then inform those who have given advice about the decision you made. That's it. Let's take a look at how Pam uses the advice process to make a decision. Pam works at this cool paper company where everyone can make decisions. And Pam is about to make one herself. She uses the advice process to make her decision. Pam notices that the company's website looks outdated. Since Pam is part of the team responsible for the website, she takes action. She already has a few ideas to make the website look a lot more attractive. Before she can work on a solid proposal, she asks some of her colleagues what they think the new website should impart. And she also checks out the corporate identity documents. Pam now feels secure enough about her proposal. Because this is a big decision, she wants to ask some of her colleagues for advice. So she asks Phyllis, Angela, and Oscar for their advice on her proposal. Phyllis suggests using a brighter color scheme. Angela suggests using a boxed layout. And Oscar was simply okay with the proposal. Pam takes all the advice into account, chooses a brighter layout, like Phyllis suggested, didn't follow Angela on her advice, and then informs them all about her final decision. After that, she starts upgrading the website. A few weeks later, Pam shows her colleagues the new website. And lo and behold, they all love it. Everyone thought it imparted everything the company stands for. It seems like the advice process worked out pretty well for Pam. Since all of her colleagues also use the advice process, everyone can make the right decisions in an effective way. The result? distributed decision-making without the burden of bureaucracy. Various pioneering organizations around the world prove that it works. Therefore, it will probably work for you too. Get to know more about distributed decision-making and the advice process in our online courses. Join now, learn from innovative pioneers and connect to a global community of like-minded people. Learn more at corporate-rebels.com slash academy.